All right. Yeah, I decided I was going to turn out a few more videos today while I'm outside. Um, this was the herb bed that I did that was just up next to a shed, just a, a few feet out and a few feet long. And I've got some perennial culinary sage in here. It's right here. And if you'll notice, and of course, this time of year, everything looks ratty and ragged. And ragged. Um, I've got my two tomato cages here because pretty soon I'm going to be planting several varieties of Passiflora passion vines. And I do have the native ones to the area that I had collected and dried the may pops and got the seed out of but then i ordered some from offline because i wanted to see how they would do here and so i've got these two tomato cages ready to go to plant uh, the passiflora vines now here is chickweed now this gets eaten all the time while it's while it's fresh and soft and blooming like this I put it on everything and it is delicious now you'll see I've I've stuck one or two little lactucas in here again they were they were ones I just found out in the yard and it was cold I went I'll just stick them here and be done with it and and they're they're fine you see they've even got new growth but I want to show you this these little bitty little bitty seeds right in through there coming up little sprouts I'm wondering if those are gonna be mullein plants because with, with that mullein plant that I grew and I did a video on collecting the seed and how how you do it those seed were tiny and what I did was I went ahead and took that stalk and I just crunched it up and I just let the seed fall all over in here in this bed now, if it is mullein, I'll have to dig it up because mullein has some, something toxic about its roots. And you got to be careful where you plant it. And, and I tend to plant it by, my, by itself ever since I found that out. Uh, I do want to show you this. And I'm kind of, I'm between holding my tripod and moving my tripod. So I hope it's not too jiggledy for you. I always want to apologize to y'all for that, but I do have essential tremors. The, uh, uh, the usnea works real good with that and turkey tails does, but, um, I hadn't been eating too much. Uh, I think there's a little bug going around at work and I felt a little sick at my stomach. So I've mostly been been ingesting ginger and that kind of thing but as you see uh, right here my dandelions oh my goodness aren't they beautiful just beautiful now I'm I'm not gonna make any dandelion wine because I want I have to let mine go to seed and and replenish my yard the first year here I ate all the dandelion blooms out of my yard and so I didn't have any dandelions come back the very next year. So what I did was I went over to the neighbor's yard and I put, picked a bunch of their blooms. I'm sure they thought I was crazy. Well, they know. They know now what I do. Um, and so I scattered them everywhere. And then I also go around digging up dandelion plants and bringing them into my yard. And anywhere I see little dandelions that have, that have formed their little seed head, I snatch them off. And I bring them back here and I plant them all over my yard. I just let them go. Uh, dandelions are very important. They're important pollinators. They're important nutritionally. And they're important medicinally. And if you folks out there would spread the word, stop poisoning them. They're wonderful. Dig them up, eat them, for crying out loud. So, uh, so they're doing real good. And I transplanted those mustard plants that were growing up next to the side of my house. And those are doing good. And then I've got plenty of white clover, plenty of red clover. I've got the dead nettle. I see some cleavers coming in right there. Cleavers are those little things that you also call stick tights. Well, they're one of those medicinal, antiviral, antifungal, antibacterial 
plants that will help us be healthy but i did just want to show y'all the the bed has been resting i have planted a few sprigs of italian oregano in here um, it grows all winter here in this area of the south so i wanted to show y'all that and i'm doing a little bit each day the wind's a little chilly today but uh, the sunshine is beautiful and then this was where <coughs> my mullein plant was growing and as you see i've got a beautiful carpet of of chickweed and dead nettle i've got red clover in here that good crunchy stuff that tasted real nice and spicy and i do not know what it is but yeah i eat it and uh there's some i've got yellow dock right here and all of these things back here now if kenny's weed eater guy comes in and cuts them all down that's all right because these are things that will come back prolifically and i'm hoping that there's some little mullein seed buried in there here's the here's the stalk that you see i just I just broke open those little seed pod and let them fall where they may. And I have to tell you, I've got us. There are times that I really have to watch myself because I'll be driving.